Good morning friends. Welcome to our channel BA Wise Investor. NASDAQ closed with a gain of 13 points and closed at 13,761.53 on Friday. Whereas NASDAQ future is now trading with a loss of 12 points. Dow Jones closed with a gain of 75, 76 points and closed at 34,576.59 whereas Dow Jones future is now trading with a loss of 7 points. S&P 500 gained 6.35 points and closed at 4,457.49. All European markets ended in green on Friday. Gift Nifty is now trading with a loss of 9 points. Asian markets are trading mixed as of now. Indications are that Indian markets may open without much change. Nifty may show some loss till midday and may post more gains in the second half. Banking, IT and metal stocks may show some gains. State Bank of India, Federal Bank, Tata Steel and Wipro may be looked into. FIs were net sellers to the tune of 224.22 crores whereas DIs were net buyers to the tune of 1150.15 crores on Friday. FI sold a net of 8833.47 crores in this month so far whereas DIs bought 6867.07 crores this month. Rishab instrument to be listed in the exchange today and analysts expect it to list at around rupees 500 against the issue price of 441. Ratnavir precision will also be listed today and expectations are that it may be listed at a 40% premium. Issue price was 98 rupees per share. Hemant Kanawala of Kotak Mahindra Life Insurance sees significant opportunities in consumer electronics companies due to advantage of large domestic demand and need for reduction of imports. Vakranji to acquire 48.5% 48 stake in Vortex Engineering, a leading ATM machine provider. Adani Global PTA Limited, a step down subsidiary of Adani Enterprises, has signed a joint venture agreement with Kova Holdings Asia PTA Limited, Singapore, for the sales of green ammonia, green hydrogen and its derivatives produced and supplied by Adani Group. SJVN has signed a power purchase agreement with Bakra Beast Management Board for 18 megawatt solar power projects. Scheffler India has acquired 100% shareholding of KRSV Innovative Auto Solutions. Be Basilic Fly Studio, a Chennai based company, will list on NSE today. Issue price was Rs. 97 per share. SBI Mutual Fund has purchased 19.29 lakh shares of VRO Logistics at an average price of 68.1 per share. The promoter of the company sold 35 lakh shares at an average price of 681.08 per share. Jodi Structures 1.11 crore shares were offloaded at an average price of Rs. 11 per share via open market. Stocks under NSC FNO ban for today are Balrampur Chini Mills, Chambal Fertilizers, Delta Corp, Kirisan Copper, India Bulls Housing Finance, India Siemens, Manapuram Finance, Punjab National Bank and Seed. BHEL has removed from the list. Money Control's top two picks for short term are CDSL by last night price 1282.30, stop loss 1219, target 1395. Rain Industries by last night price 180.40, stop loss 172, target 192.192. Shreya Shipping and Logistics has received in principle approval for delisting of its shares from BSE and NSE. Natco Pharma shares slumps 3% after US Antitrust lawsuits. US Chickmack pair Nvidia Corporation has announced separate partnership with Reliance and Tata to help them to develop AI powered supercomputers. Adani Group has increased its stake in Adani Enterprises and Adani Ports to 71.93% and 65.23% respectively. NTPC Group's installed capacity has been increased to 73,824 uh, 24 megawatts. Balaji Amins has decided to withdraw Balaji Specialty Chemicals IPO of 250 crores. HDFC Bank stock may have a massive inflows of US dollar of 600 million. Torrent Group likely to pledge stake in Torrent Pharma to acquire stake in Sipla. 
Reliance has deferred the timeline for its Giga scale battery factory by two years to 2026. Grasim's textile division plans to expand its footprint to small cities by adding 100 to 120 stores over the next couple of years. Balram Burchini Mill said that they stand to gain due to lower surplus in the country as it derives more volume from its UP plant. Sigachi Industries fixed 9th October as record date for its stock split 1 is to 10, that is 10 rupee share will be split into 1 rupee each. IRB infra collected an increase of 24.2 percentage total revenue in the month of August. Oil India plans to invest US dollar 2 billion in projects and aims to achieve zero gold by 2040. Shyam Metallics and Energy has announced an OFS up to 1.3 crore shares at Rs. 441 per share. Current market price is 467.80. Promoter stake in the company is now 88.35 percent. IPO price of the stock was 306 per share and listed during June 2021. Now offer for sale is only 5.11 percentage of the stake in the company. Vaishali Parik of Prabhupada Salilada recommends the following stocks for today. Tata Motors buy at 627.25, stop loss 618, target 660. Obera Realty buy at 1179.60, stop loss 1155, target 1250. Irox Green buy at 70.25, stop loss 68.50, target 76. Nifty 50 support at 19,600 and resistance at 20,000. Bank Nifty supported 44,800 and resistance at 45,600. Mid-cap index rose 0.92% while small-cap index rose 0.43%. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.